Well, I am binge watching uh, Family Five Logs. It's uh, oh, almost eleven o'clock in the morning on um, Thursday, August twentieth. So we are starting the vlog again for the twentieth. And we won't be finished till till the twenty first on Friday. Uh, but the times have shifted. <laughs> uh, obviously, the time has shifted. They we're now starting at uh, almost eleven o'clock. I've done the gaming. I've done. Uh, I made myself a night's nice breakfast, and uh, things are going well. I've, I edited my video for today. It's going to go up around one two o'clock in the afternoon. And I've got, I, I'm getting back on schedule. And, and, and what happens, people, t they talk about, uh, vloggers talk about, you know, being sleep, def sleep deprived. And the challenges of editing videos on a daily basis. But so far, I've got a process that seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, I don't know uh, if I'm going to, because some vloggers are doing geocaching, uh, the, the mother of this, uh, in this, this, in this vlog here, Family Five Vlogs. Uh, she's doing geocaching with her daughters. I don't, I've tried geocaching, but there's nothing really around me. So, uh, in terms of I think of when, in terms of walking distance, but uh, so I don't think I'm going to add in geocaching here. But, I'll, but I might do it later on when, when once I get my scooter working, we'll see what happens. I might be able to do, go do something some geocaching uh, once the scooter's working. Uh, that might be a possibility, but right now, uh, it's just sort of uh, me here doing the YouTube bus stroll at the research desk and doing bits and pieces in between. I do have to uh, start working on uh, my Greek a little bit more. There are archives I want to get into, and I have to uh, get a better handle on my Greek. I have a good handle, uh, handle on my Greek. I can do, uh, over time, I can do translation. But I need to pick up my speed, pick up my profi profi my proficiency, in order to get into that into the, the larger archives. Because uh, you know, if it's something small, I can do. Once it gets a larger, a, lar a larger product, then it then it starts becoming more cumbersome. And as I said, what happens if you don't have a good process? Things bog down to a point where they stop and stall. I should say they stall and then they stop. Uh, stalled means they're stalled. They stop just briefly and they pick up again. Stop means it's now stopped and uh, it's going to take a bit of an, uh, a bit of an effort to get it going again. And this is this is kind of how things end up working out. Is that you you, uh, you have to relearn things uh, that you weren't planning on learning just to get into new new areas. Uh, and I said there are a lot of archives out there that are coming online. Some of them are known, and some of them are unknown. And there's information inside the archives, even the ones that are known. Sometimes, it, it, as you go over things, you see things you missed the first time, or you think other people have gone through the archives tons of times. And you'll go through it, and you'll pick up something that everybody else missed, because it was. Wasn't important. Wasn't significant. So they just wasn't significant to them. So they just simply tossed it off and said, "Oh, doesn't need, doesn't ma doesn't matter," and and just sort of leaves it on the side. Uh, you pick it up, and all of a sudden you go, "Ah, oh, that connects. That connects with that." In other words, you 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 begin to understand how things interconnect with each other. Uh, various different bits and pieces of information. Uh, some of it, it's a historical information. Sometimes it's uh, even scientific information. Uh, how people understood science back, uh, way back in the day, or, or, or uh, throughout history, the historical understanding of of of, uh, of of science. And the thing is, it's it's much different than you find in a textbook. The textbook leaves out a large chunk of information. And so you only get sort of what we call these boring facts, because and they're boring facts. Cause all they're doing is pointing out the a, a, a bullet point, something that's that's easy to remember, sort of type of thing, or has no interpersonal connection. 
But yet, scientists go through an enormous amount of effort in order to, to, to find these points. So understanding how the sci scientists, uh, whoever you're looking at and whatever you're looking at, how they did what they did is actually important. Finding out who they were, what was, the, what was their personality like, what, you know, how do they approach things? Because these things all sort of, they provide a, an alternative perspective, possibly, from what you're doing. And sometimes you need another perspective in order to sort of move ahead with an understanding. And so what happens is that you view a textbook as a very shallow understanding. We're now getting back in, we're now into our back to school discussion. And you're, you're, your understanding in the textbook is very, very shallow. The depth in terms of other perspectives is simply not there. And so you have to go to other sources to do that. And so this is the difference between middle school and what I'm doing is that my stuff, even though I, I, I'm in an infinite situation where the knowledge is infinite, I'll get an understanding, I'll have a, a, a conclusion, but not the conclusion. There's no, there's no real reason for why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's, it, it's open and random at this point. And it always really, in some ways, will remain random because even though you set a, sort of a course definition, like, well, I'll, I'm going into history, of, I'm going into the history of science, or the history of mathematics, or the history of art. That's a general definition and a general direction. It's not, it doesn't denote or, or, or signify where specifically you're going. Because you have no specificity as to where you're going. It's just very general. And you'll find out when you get there. <laughs> When I say unpredictable sleep schedule, I mean unpredictable sleep schedule. Here we go. We're, we're ending the video for uh, Thursday, uh, uh, August 20th. We're finishing on Friday, August 21st. It's 4.30 in the morning. Uh, just about 4.30 in the morning. And and just yesterday, we were around, we were around the 10 11, 10, 11 mark. But now we're back to the 4 or 5 a.m. This is what happens. My sleep schedule is unpredictable. You would think it would, it, it, it would, it, it, it would have a, a consistent pattern forward or a consistent pattern backward. But it doesn't. It doesn't have that, cons that consistency. Some days I'll sleep more and some days I'll sleep less. And the thing is, is sleeping is not necessarily... Well, what everyone else calls sleeping. For me, it's just my shift to another world because I'm a lucid, I'm a lucid dreamer. I'm aware of what I dream, and so what happens is that I go to another place wherever the dream takes me, and I exist in that 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 world for forever long. I'm there, and it's part of my research. It, it, I continue on with my research there. So, it's simply just I have the front, I have the main research desk. I have this research desk now. Well, the third one is when I go to sleep. Well, I have the I have the I have the, uh, the one outside. The fourth one outside. When I sit outside and I vlog outside, that's a research desk because that's where I'm doing my observational work. And so what happens? Sleeping is simply just another research desk. And so it it just you know it it, it the work really never ends. And in terms of the studying, and it, it really messes up my sleep schedule. Anyways, I just finished at Family Five Logs uh, on my YouTube stroll. Uh, it was back to school. Everyone's going back to school now. They're getting into back to school mode. They fixed they fixed up the the, the girls uh, Kylie and Briley and fixed up their rooms. For fall, I like these type of uh, in, in, sort of the room makeover things because it, it, this is what happened in uh, the Yaoi vlogs. So going back to the Yaoi vlogs, and that's what I started first. 
uh, Savannah and Lizzie got bored playing pretend at these different things. But the thing is, what happens is that you can take, extend the pretend into reality where you're fixing up a room, you're fixing up a house, you're fixing up your apartment, or you're fixing up a particular area, and it extends uh, 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 much more into um, other time so that it, it, it fills your time. You're not, you're not sitting there, well, what am I going to do next? I'm so, uh, you know, I'm bored. And you, don't, you never see that anymore because you've got something to do. You've got things that are always needing to be done. And, and so if you look at your chores, your work in that fashion, then you can, uh, you can, you, you'll never be bored again. <laughs> That's good. This is, this is, you know, Yahweh Vlogs, you, you're thinking, you know, because I watch the same shows as, I watch the same shows that Lizzie and Savannah watch. I watch uh, all the cartoons. I watch uh, the kids shows, what they call the kids shows. I'm not into the serious dramas that everybody else is into. Uh, I just can't, uh, I, I think the world has too much drama in it, too much uh, horrible stuff going on. I don't want to see it in my entertainment. I don't want to see someone get robbed. I don't want to see someone get murdered. That's not my entertainment. I'd rather have something like, like Spongebob or um, uh, Phineas and Ferb or the older one was Kim Possible. Uh, I'm watching now. Want the one the, the cartoon I'm watching now is called Fillmore. It's it's it's, it's an old Dis it's a it's an old Disney show the cartoon. Those are the shows I like uh, uh, from uh, Cartoon Network. Uh, it, it, again, old uh, code name Kid Next Kid, Kids Next Door, Dexter's Lab, uh, Grim Adventures of uh, of Mandy and Billy. These these are older cartoons, and they think some of the newer cartoons are all right. Um, the Loud House is okay sometimes. Uh, I'm not into it that much. Uh, they finished with uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Uh, Milo Murphy's okay. That's pretty good. I'm not too. I'm not. I, I can't get into the Owl House. So there's a, there, there's a number of different shows I do watch, but on the whole. I'm particularly watching YouTube and uh, uh, stuff I've got in my library. Anyways, uh, that's it for this uh, video. This is sort of an ending, an ending point at uh, at uh, four thirty in the four thirty in the morning. And the, 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 your your approach to life is basically not whether you're worth it or not, but no refunds because there there's a lot of times. When you don't feel worth it, and in fact, that happens more often than not, and so it's not an issue of whether you think you're worth it or someone else thinks you're worth it. It just no refunds and move forward. You know, things happen, and some of them are good, some of them are bad. And if you always look at the bad, you're you're never going to have a good life. You have to look at the at the positives and then move move forward from there. That's no refunds.